Good afternoon today. This is Ask Marie. You know, I saw an article in the Old Black Church magazine about a pastor's wife that's well known who has received an eviction notice from a church parsonage in that her husband, who's a who was a bishop, passed away this past June in New York, uh, Bishop Roy E. Brown. It seems as though that this parsonage was owned by the church. So the church, being the landlord, has decided that the, the lease has expired on the day that her husband died. Now, uh, Pastor Brown has been a pastor for that church over 40 years that I know of. And it was assumed, apparently assumed, uh, that the church would take care of his wife should he pass away. Now, I don't know if he didn't made any preparations in writing as to what should happen with his wife and the parsonage and and all upon his death. But the church did not assume what was not apparently in writing. And they have decided to have her evicted by August 26th. That's today. This notice was sent to her August 15th. Now that's just a wake up call for pastors' wives bishops wives in that you have to kind of think about what your future is going to be like should your your husband suddenly not be there or whatever when he's no longer a pastor of the church now there's always two sides to the story the church has to make uh preparations for a new pastor church can't continue to go without a pastor so if there's a new pastor there's probably a new pastor's wife a new pastor's family that's probably waiting to move into that parsonage because the church is required to take care of their pastor and his family while he's living now, I don't know whether Bishop uh, Brown thought about it, but he should have made some kind of arrangements for his wife to be taken care of once he's no longer on this earth. Had he not done that, that wife should have thought about where she would be, uh, how she would manage to survive after her husband died. Uh, there should have been a pension plan given to the pastor by the church 40 years is a long time that's a lifetime to work at one location and he should have had some kind of a pension plan that included his wife maybe not the children because they're grown now but it should have definitely included his wife she has decided that she's not going anywhere i don't know what the final results will end up being just as I know Bishop Brown myself, this is something he would just not prepare for. And there must have been some sort of a preparation and she's just refusing to accept relocation to another place or whatever. But pastors, wives, do be aware of the possibility of being placed in another location outside of the church parsonage. And do be aware of what you're going to need to survive after the pastor no longer pastors, even if he doesn't die. Do be aware that you need to prepare for yourself in the future, as well as if you have young children, because uh, these churches are just not doing it. They're just they're just not doing it. As I said, the landlord is the church, and they, the church has decided that they want the parsonage back. Let me know what you think um, if they did set her up in another location. Why does she refuse and why? Why is she refusing to leave? Is there more to this story um, than, than, than people are learning about? The church knows. Uh, we don't know. Um, let me know what your opinion is about this. And pastors, wives, do be aware, let this be a wake-up call that you need to prepare for yourself. And that goes for any woman uh, with a husband. Be prepared to uh, take care of yourself should something happen and you're no longer with your husband. 
Please do subscribe today and be blessed.